Well, welcome back to the lab again, folks. So I guess you can tell by what's in front of you there that it's kid of the month time. So reach in here, grab a kit, and see what we get. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, it looks like some sort of high voltage generator here. And I believe I did pick one of those up. So we've got, uh, this looks like a blocking oscillator and a transformer, very simple circuit. It's, uh, let's build it up, see what it does. I think it's supposed to produce an arc if it's done properly. It needs, it needs three amps DC, five volts. 18650. I guess it, you can run it off an 18650 battery. Well, let's see if we have all the parts. There's one of each, and there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten parts. Ten parts. Let's see if we got ten parts. T1. I got two T1s. I don't know what they're talking about here. Could be very interesting build. It seems to be tangled together. I'm going to look at this under a magnifying glass. I'll be right back. Okay, so I take uh, these to be the two windings and they're joined together here. So this would be pin one and uh, pin two, pin one and three, and then pin two and four would be these two. So it's pin one and three, pin two and four. Now I don't know if. Uh, they're not marked. There's no way to tell which is which, so I guess it doesn't matter. Both these coils must be the same. And I guess I can measure them to see if they measure the same. 0.16 ohms. Point four eight. So the deed they're not the same. that again make sure yeah they're not the same now which one goes where that's that is the question yeah they've got uh, we've got a different symbol here and here they're slightly different symbols the, the first part of the character is different so there's the difference between them as far as I can tell okay you can see the same here in this picture. If we mount it like this, or do we want this to mount it the other way? Uh, let me see if I can find out even where I got this kit from and what their suggestions are. I'll be back. Okay, the only thing that really makes sense to me, I can't find anything about it. Um, I got it off AliExpress and they just show a picture of the kit in pieces. They don't show it built up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that uh, the leads should come off at the bottom and that they go in in the order that they are on the board. So that's what we'll do. And if it doesn't work at the end, then it doesn't work. And if it works, it works. All right, so let's get to, to building this thing. There's not much to it here.
All right. We have it together. Now, I don't know what the ideal separation is here, but uh, I'm going to go with that to start with. Okay. Leave it at that to begin with. Let's get the power supply up here. That five volts. Put the current up to, I say, three amps. So let's limit it at three amps there. And this is the negative. This is the positive. We turn it on. It's not drawing any current right now. We'll press our little switch here. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Boy, the ozone, the smell of ozone from this. Let me turn off the lights so you can see things better. All right, here we go. Here's our light show. There. So basically what we have here is a very, very inexpensive cattle prod. Let's fill the light cigarettes with it. I wonder what voltage is coming out of this. I have no way of measuring a voltage that high. So it depends on the gap wouldn't it? So if we have a, we have a gap there of about three millimeters. Turn the lights back on. Let me just connect this little thing here. We can figure out. So yeah, so they've got this thing here, two millimeters. So I guess that is the distance you're supposed to have it apart. And we got it so according to Google, it's about three kilovolts per millimeter in in normal pressure air. So that would be about six kilovolts off that. I give you a nasty shock, eh? Yeah, there's not too much too many amps at the high end of this thing, but it is when I'm when I push that uh, button there. It's drawing two amps at five volts. It's 10 watts going into it. So quite a bit of power. It's, this thing is quite dangerous. Uh, in, in the wrong hands, it could uh, provide some excitement for sure. <clears throat> and you, you really could use it as a, a, a cattle prod. That would get uh, any beast moving. But there we have it. What a useless kit. I don't know if I can use this for anything at all. Uh, maybe I uh, maybe I'll have a use for a high voltage at some point. I don't know, but th this will certainly uh, this generates at least uh, six kilovolts, and uh, transistor does get a little bit warm there, so it's not for long term use. Yeah, well there there you go, guys. Very very simple little kit. I got it off AliExpress. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you're interested in getting it or if you actually need something like this. But I guess I could I could. Uh, you know, fix up these uh, these probes here or these and uh, build it into a case and use it for lighting paper to light a fire. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll use one of those one of those batteries I got out of the uh, Lenovo battery pack. Power it with that and uh, build it into one of those little cases I have and put some sort of shielding around this to you know keep it from flopping around. Maybe just build some more, uh, more sturdy probes for it. But uh, yeah, that there you go. Came up with an idea. Or maybe I'll just leave it the way it is and use it for high voltage experiments. But in case I ever come across any. But yeah, all in Chinese, which is all Dutch to me. Um, and I guess I guess right with the transformer. So that'd be the way to do it. If you do build one of these, um, just make sure it it's. Uh, 
all the wires are coming off the bottom of the transformer and then put them in in the order that you see them uh, that's come out of the transformer go into the, the board. Now they show here in this drawing here uh, taking these wires here and looping them around a, a uh, it might be a screwdriver or a pen or something like that making little loops. But what I did is I just drew them through and then I scraped them a little bit. Once you scrape it, a, a little bit of the um, insulation off it and then use a soldering iron the, the flux and the solder will get in and, and remove the rest of it and you get a good contact there so it just shortens up the wires so it's up to you whether you want to do it their way or my method but either one obviously works i like to build kits that are useful to me i don't know what i was thinking when i bought this but maybe i'll find a use for it someday if you have any ideas put a suggestion down in in the uh comments section there i'd appreciate that i've had some pretty good suggestions from you guys lately so uh yeah i i always enjoy those thanks for joining me today folks we'll see you in the next video and in the meantime do some electronics bye bye